but let me live in my house by the side of the road and be a friend to man. A century. And that has been my philosophy for life. Be a friend to man. She calls herself. I guess I'm an oddball, I think. But they call her. Oh, E.B. Penny. That's what I go by. Is that all right? Dressed in her Sunday best. And, and she was always dressed so nice. And see, I didn't even know that. Elma Barnes Penny sits in her sunroom, surrounded by balloons, family. My, my grandson from Atlanta, Georgia. Now what in the world is he doing here today? And flowers. And I hadn't even thought about it, it was my birthday. Oh boy. Her 100th birthday. I guess I've taught all my life. 42 years of it at that. Penny taught in the Johnston County school system. I never had a lot of problems. My co-workers were mostly white. An eighth grade English teacher who also taught Sunday school and was named Teacher of the Year in 1978. I, I had a teacher, and she smelled so good. When she walked around your desk, and you could smell her perfume, and I said, oh, I want to be a teacher so I can smell like that. And I thought all teachers would smell good, you know. I didn't know any better. But it was her love for children. I got more children than that old lady that lived in the shoe. She had so many children, she didn't know what to do. That sparked her passion. Because I never birthed any children, but I got more children than anybody you've ever seen. And she still has lessons to share. Tips that teach. There are lots of tips, just one little short sentence. This is number 61. If you don't waste time worrying, you will have strength and time to spare. She wrote it at 99 years old. So it's just always been in my blood to be, help somebody else learn. And I like to do that. A 1945 graduate from Winston-Salem State University. A proclamation recognizing the 100th birthday of Mrs. Elma Barnes Penny. Declaring her birthday, Miss Elma Barnes Penny Day. I don't know what to think of it. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. A gift that's left her speechless. I would never have thought so. As Penny reflects on her legacy, she has one message. You don't live for yourself. You live for others.